Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the mathematical constant E and we're going to look at it through a situation involving compound interest. Now if this video is useful then please do go over to my channel where I have loads of other maths tutorials. So the way we're going to introduce this mathematical constant E is through a situation. And the situation is that I have one pound and I go to a bank, I'm going to invest this money and they say well we'll give you 100% interest in the year and we'll do it once. Okay, so I've got 100% interest once, and so at the end of the year I walk away with £2. I'm then going to go to a different bank to see if I can get a better deal, and they say, well, we'll give you 50% interest, but we'll give it to you twice within the year. So after the first six months, they give me 50% interest, so I now have £1.50. And then at the end of the year, they give me another 50% interest, so I'm now at £2.25. And so you can see I've actually got more money by taking a lesser interest rate, but receiving it more often, okay? Now, I'm gonna kind of continue this, but to make it a bit easier, I'm gonna see if I can come up with a formula to help me calculate these things. And so looking at this example here, I could say uh, that I've got my one pound that I'm starting with, and I'm multiplying that by one plus the interest rate, which in this case was 50%, which I could write as a half, to the power of how often I'm getting that money, which was twice, okay? Um, and so let's say I go to a different bank and they say, well, we'll give you a fourth interest four times or 25% interest four times. Well, using this kind of general idea that we looked at here, I could say, well, that's my one pound multiplied by one plus one over four because I'm getting a fourth interest and I'm getting it four times. Well, let's type that into our calculator and see what we get. Uh, and that tells me that I get 2.4414 and some other digits, but let's just say £2.44. So again, I've gotten some more money by taking a lesser interest rate, but again, receiving it more regularly. Let's kind of look at another one. Let's say they offer me a 12th interest this time. So I've got my £1 and they're offering me one twelfth interest and they're giving that to me every month, so 12 times. Let's see what number I get if I type this into my calculator. 2.613 and again some other digits but let's just say £2.61 and so you can see I've again made more money okay by receiving a lesser interest rate even more regularly and so you might be thinking well surely if I just keep increasing how often I'm getting the money I'm gonna get just more and more does or does it actually stop when it gets to a certain point okay so let's see if we can calculate that so let's generalize this formula uh, we could say it's our one pound multiplied by one plus one over n to the power of n, where n is kind of how many installments we're getting. So let's say I get uh, interest every day. So in that case, n would be 365. Well, to calculate that, it would be one multiplied by one plus one over 365 to the power of 365. And if I type this in my calculator, let's see what we get. I get 2.7145, and again, some other digits, but you can see it's increased again, but perhaps less than it was originally. It's growing, but maybe at a bit of a lesser rate, okay? And let's do one final example where I get, say, uh, 10,000 installments within the year. So it's one multiplied by one plus one over 10,000 to the power of 10,000. Let's see what this number's gonna be. And it's 2.718, and again, some more digits. So you can see actually the seven isn't, doesn't seem to be changing now. It's kind of just staying uh, 2.71 and some other digits. So maybe actually this is gonna converge, so you know, go towards a specific value. And in fact, it does. And the way we would calculate this is we would say it's the limit as n tends to infinity, so I'm getting money infinitely often, of one plus one over n to the power of n. And if we calculate that, okay, if we calculate this limit, the number we get is 2.71828 and some other digits. In fact, infinitely many digits because this number we get is an irrational number, okay? That means it goes on forever without ever repeating or terminating, just like pi. Um, and it's a constant, okay? So it's a fixed thing and we call this number E. Okay, and there's a button for it on your calculator. I'll put a picture on the screen now. And as we get interest infinitely often, we tend towards this mathematical constant E. Okay, And this number is extremely useful, and we're going to talk about that in the next video. Uh, but this is an introduction of sort of where E comes from. So hopefully this was useful. If it was, do go over to my channel where I have loads of other maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.